YouTube, welcome to Groove Builders. I'm Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're gonna be building the iconic Taj Mahal, which is promising to be one of the biggest and most detailed models we've built to date. Let's not waste any time and get down to the workbench to take a look at the package and start our build. All right, Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have the Iconics 3D metal model here of the Taj Mahal in some pretty awesome packaging, I might add. When we open her up, we get a beautiful picture of the Taj Mahal itself, as well as a little bit of history regarding the monument. We're gonna go into great detail about that a little bit later. On the right here, we get a little brief look at some of our metal we're gonna be building with, as well as a link at the bottom that we can go to if we need a 360 picture of our model. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, you get a brief look at our two metal sheets, as well as the Taj Mahal. Ours is a little bit different with the towers. This 360 QWERTY code here that we can scan, as well as a brief bit of instruction on what to do with our tabs and fold lines. At the very bottom, we get a brief overlook at other Iconics models that we get to build in the future. Let's go ahead and open her up. We have our metal. And we have our instructions. Let's take a closer look. All right, Groovers, taking a look at these instructions, you might realize they look a little bit familiar, and that's because the Metal Earth instructions and the Iconics instructions are made by the same people at Fascinations. The Iconics lines tends to be a little bit bigger and more detailed than your traditional Metal Earth models. Let's start off with our connections. Every single time you see these little circles here, you need to grab the tab and bend it 90 degrees, usually flush with the metal on the model. When you see these triangles over here, you need to grab as much of the tab as possible and twist 90 degrees. If you don't grab enough of the tab, you will find that the model will almost bend a certain way or possibly move around when you're holding it. Our next part to take a look at is the all important parts diagram, which has all of our parts labeled out by numbers. I personally find it to be a good strategy to take your metal and orientate it to the two different diagrams on our instructions. And the reason for this, it will be a lot easier to find the parts once you locate them on the diagram. All right, Groovers, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and dive into our build. The Taj Mahal is an absolutely beautiful and stunning building with a unique culture and history filled with war, love, and loss. I think in order to fully appreciate the Taj Mahal, we have to go back to when a young prince was just starting his life. Shah Jahan was a member of the Mughal dynasty that ruled most of northern India from the early 16th century to the 18th century. After the death of his father, King Jangharid, in 1627, Shah Jahan came out on top of a bitter power struggle with his brothers and crowned himself emperor at Agra in 1628. At his side was Ajram Bunu Begum and he bestowed her with the title of Montaz Mahal, meaning the jewel of the palace. Shah Jahan had other wives, and this was common at the time, but Montaz Mahal was his favorite. Montaz and the emperor were viewed as soulmates, and she was also his most trusted political advisor. Unfortunately, as with any love story, tragedy was right around the corner. In 1630, Montaz died giving birth to her 14th child. While Montaz was on her deathbed, Shah Jahan promised her that he would never remarry, and he would build her the richest mausoleum over her grave. The loss of Montaz affected the emperor so deeply that his black hair and beard turned snow white in just a few months. The emperor, overcome with grief, vowed to keep his beloved's wife's memory alive forever. After a time, he decided to build her a monument of eternal love. Shah Jahan, known for commissioning a number of impressive buildings, ordered the Taj Mahal to be built across the river from his own palace in Agra. Construction began in 1632 and would continue for the next two decades. In all, more than 20,000 workers from India, Persia, Europe, and the Ottoman Empire, along with a thousand elephants, were brought in to build the mausoleum and area. The monument was built entirely out of white marble, which was brought in from all over India and Central Asia. After spending about 32 million rupees, that's over a billion dollars in today's money, the Taj Mahal was finally complete in 1653. The Taj Mahal was constructed of white marble and was inlaid with semi-precious stones, including jade, crystal, lapis, amethyst, and turquoise, forming some of the most amazing designs and patterns. Its main dome reaches a height of 73 meters and is surrounded by four smaller domes. Four slender towers also stand in the four corners. In accordance with Islamic tradition, verses of the Quran were inscribed in calligraphy on all the archway entrances to the mausoleum and other sections of the complex. 
Inside the mausoleum, an octagonal marble chamber adorned with carvings and semi-precious stones houses the cenotaph, or a false tomb, of Muntaz Mahal. Her real sarcophagus containing her actual remains lay below at garden level. The rest of the Taj Mahal complex includes a main gateway of red sandstone and a square garden divided into quarters by long pools of water, as well as a red sandstone mosque and identical building called a mirror directly across from the mosque. Traditional Mughal building practices would allow no further alterations to be made to the complex. Now as the story goes, Shah Jahan intended to build a second grand mausoleum across from the Yaman River from the Taj Mahal, where his own remains would be buried once he died. However, things don't always turn out the way we want them to. It was soon after the completion of the Taj Mahal that Shah Jahan was deposed by his own son and was put under house arrest at a nearby fort in Agra. When Shah Jahan died, his daughter had him placed next to his beloved wife. There is some controversy over whether this was a romantic gesture from his daughter or a knock at the king's obsession with symmetry. The Taj Mahal is meticulously constructed to be symmetric across its long and wide diameters. Muntaz Mahal's casket is located in the exact center of the palace crypt. With the addition of Shah Jahan's casket, the crypt is no longer symmetric. Shah Jahan's son, Aurangzeb, ruled for quite a long time, from 1658 to 1707, and under his rule, the Mughal Empire reached the height of its strength. However, his militant Muslim politics, which included the destruction of many Hindu temples and shrines, undermined the strength of the empire and led to its demise by the mid-18th century. As the Mughal power crumbled, the Taj Mahal suffered from neglect in two centuries after Shah Jahan's death. Around the turn of the 19th century, Lord Corzon, a British Viceroy of India, ordered a major restoration of the Taj Mahal as part of a colonial effort to preserve India's artistic and cultural heritage. I wish I could say that was the end of the controversy for the Taj Mahal, but I would be wrong. The official history of the Taj Mahal is the one I presented to you today, but in doing my research I found the history of the Taj Mahal to be filled with tons of controversies and myths. This mainly comes down to the Mongol era and the Muslim and Hindu relationships. For instance, many believe that the Taj Mahal was originally a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Shiva, and that Shah Jahan was simply gifted this temple and he made it his own. Although I respect the Hindu claims and I understand where they're coming from, I still believe the original history told today. I will include some really interesting links that will go into detail about their claims in the description below. As well, if you're interested in some of the other myths, I'll include some links there too. All right, group builders, we did it. We built the Iconics Taj Mahal, and this build was a ton of fun with a little bit of difficulty sprinkled throughout. Let's go ahead and talk about construction difficulty. The Taj Mahal itself isn't really hard to build. However, there are a few little spots I wanna draw some attention to. The first piece being the top dome. So when forming this piece, it's important to take your time and really make sure that all of those edges and seams line up almost flawlessly. There are a few ways to ensure that you can do this. I recommend using your thumb and then at the very bottom, locking each one of those panels one at a time. At the very end, apply a little bit of pressure on top and you should see some of those folds and some of those gaps almost completely diminish. Of course, you can sit there with some detailed tweezers and also kind of pop out some of the edges that you might need to. Groovers, take your time with this because if you mess up the dome, you might have to order another piece from Metal Earth. The second thing I want to draw your attention to is the four towers of the Taj Mahal. The cylinders that you have to form can be a little bit difficult even with a really good mandrel set. If you have the chance, I really recommend going out to your local hobby store and picking up a whole bunch of dowels in varying sizes and lengths. And the reason for this is for these long cylinder pieces, some of the mandrel ends are just not long enough. So if you're having to form a perfect cylinder and you really want that razor sharp, really nice seam at the end, you're gonna need a good dowel set. If you don't have a dowel set around, you're still attempting to build this set, I really recommend taking your time with a pair of detailed tweezers and really take the small bend approach to get those really nice finished cylinders. They're not gonna be uniform, but they'll be a lot better than freehand. My third point is symmetry of the towers. It's very important that when you're taking the towers and you're putting them together, that you're making sure to grab all of the tab. And the reason for this is, of course, if you don't grab all the tab on one side and you grab all the tab on the other side, you're gonna see a lopsided tower. And I've seen plenty of these on different forms. 
take the time and just really make sure that you're equalizing all of the grabs on all of the towers so that they all come out very nice and uniform. They're still not going to be completely straight. It's just not going to happen. However, they can look really, really nice and almost perfectly straight if you take the time. And with that, let's move on to build time. The Taj Mahal took me about two hours and 30 minutes, but I definitely could have taken and should have taken a lot more time. It's really important to remember that building these models is not a race. And with some of these having such a historical and really awesome meanings behind them, it's almost an insult to rush through them. You really want to make sure that at the very end, you have a real nice museum quality model. So Groovers, take your time and enjoy the build. And finally, Groove Builders, let's move on to my thoughts. The Iconics Taj Mahal is a fantastic build, and I definitely recommend it both for new and old metal model builders. There's some unique challenges in this with the cylinders, the domes, and the towers to be able to build them correctly, and if you're looking for a little bit of a challenge, really look no further. This model looks great amongst all of my other metal models, and unfortunately it's not as tall as I thought it would be, especially coming from an Iconics line. Typically Iconics lines usually are a lot bigger models with a lot more detail than their Metal Earth cousins. In the future, I hope to be able to build more Iconics models, and I hope that they are a lot bigger for us to build. I do have the R2-D2 Mega model with me here, but I'm waiting for a very special Groove Builders episode to build that with you. All right, Groove Builders, that brings us to the end. I had a great time building the Iconics Taj Mahal with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building.